Detroit, Michigan, photographer Robert Johnson. From San Diego, California, public relations assistant Lisa Kingery. From Kansas City, Missouri, documentary researcher Christian Heaton. From San Francisco, California, personal assistant Melissa Ward. And now, here's our host, Mark L. Walberg. Welcome to Russian Roulette. As you know, I hope that you know correct answers win you money and keep you in the game. That's the happy part. Uh, but if you give an answer wrong, give an incorrect answer, you lose all of your money. Then you play Russian Roulette by pulling that handle you see in front of you there. Okay? In each round, we start with one drop zone, but we increase the danger by adding a new drop zone with each new question. Questions are worth $150 in this round. We've given you all that amount to start the game. Lisa, you've been randomly selected to be our first challenger. You ready? I'm ready. Okay, let's do it. Let's play the game. First question. Parker Brothers initially rejected this game for over 50 reasons, including it took too long to play. Name the game. Who would you like to challenge? I would like to challenge Melissa, because I don't think she played a lot of games as a child. <laughs> Melissa, was the game Yahtzee, Monopoly, or Risk? I will say Monopoly. Is it Monopoly? That's right. Good start for you, Melissa. $150 for that right answer. You're now in the lead. You have $300. We have two drop zones. You're the challenger. Here's the next question. Trent Lott, Joseph Biden, and Carl Levin all have the same job. What is it? Who do you want to challenge? I'm going to challenge Lisa. <laughs> uh, yeah. Lisa. Lisa, are Lot, Biden, and Levin network TV presidents, U.S. Senators, or New York Yankees ball players? They are U.S. Senators. Are they U.S. Senators? Yes. <laughs> we'll have to get a pick of $150, Lisa. Once again, the challenger, three drop zones now. Next question. When the barber pole originated in France, what did the color red symbolize? Who do you want to challenge this time? I think I'll challenge Robert this time because he doesn't look like he's from France. I thought it was going to say you don't look like you know what a barber is, but I don't think that's right. <laughs> Did the color red symbolize patriotism, royal treatment, or blood? Blood. Is it blood? That's exactly right. Interesting. You, you think about $150, but uh, barbers did surgery of wounds, bloodletting, cupping and leeching, enemas, and extracting teeth. Yeah. It was not so fun to be a barber back then, I guess. So uh, you pick up $150, yeah. you're now the challenger. We have four drop zones. Next question. A nationwide tournament called the Madden Challenge is a competition in what? I'm going to throw challenge. that to Lisa because she looks like she loves the Madden Challenge. <laughs> Lisa, is the Madden Challenge a competition in cooking chili, poker, or video football? I would say video football. Is it video football? That's right. 150 for that right answer. All right. You now have 450. There are five drop zones. And the smiles go away from faces. Here's the next question. What Russian novel begins, happy families are all alike. Every unhappy family is unhappy in its own way. Okay, I'd like to challenge Robert again. Sorry, Robert. All right, Robert, is the quote from Anna Karenina, War and Peace or Crime and Punishment? Anna Karenina. Is it Anna Karenina? Yes, it is. Tied for the lead now, 4.50. That sound means time is up. 4.50 for you, Robert. Lisa, you have 4.50. Christian, $150. Melissa, you have $300. None of you has the lead by yourself, and somebody's got to go. So all of you are vulnerable, and I get to pull the handle. So... 
close game, so we have to leave it to the luck part of our game. Unlock all of their drop zones. And let's play Russian Roulette. Good luck. Now he is gone, and we will take his $150, split it evenly amongst our three remaining players, and we will come back after this break to drop yet another player. Yeah. Stay with us. <laughs> But Christian is not. He, uh, boy, he just stood right there. He smiled, and then we dropped him. Never ever. Well, let's, let's just take a moment. His name was Christian Heaton. He was a documentary researcher from Kansas City, Missouri. But he's gone. And I just felt like we should say something about him. Three players remain, and before we move on, we should get to know them. First of all, Robert has $500. Lisa, you have $500. And uh, Melissa, you have $350. You all got a bump of $50 because Christian had $150 before he dropped. Robert Johnson. Photographer from Detroit, Michigan, right, Robert? Yes, yes. Terrific. What else can we learn about you? Oh, man, I love surfing the Internet in the late, late hours. I uh, connect comic books, and I love going to Vegas. Yeah, what do you play when you're in Vegas? Blackjack. Blackjack. All day long. All day long. All right, very good. We're glad to have you here. Lisa Kingery, yeah. public relations assistant from San Diego, California, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Okay, what else? Uh, I'm an artist. I just had a couple pieces in the show. Yay. I'm a huge... Yay. Uh, I'm a huge, huge nerd. I love, like, tearing in the L.A. Times apart. It's the best. It's my favorite thing. And um, I worked in three bars by the time I was 20. You worked in three bars by the time you were 20? Yeah. I was a bartender when I was uh, 19. That's illegal, isn't it? Not in Greece. Not in Greece? Oh. <laughs> I see. You didn't tell me that part. Uh -huh. Well, good. And Melissa Ward is a personal assistant from San Francisco, California. Right, Melissa? Yes, that's Welcome correct. Welcome to the show. Thanks. Yeah, I'm an avid swimmer, avid tennis player, love to go dancing, and I also am a vocalist in a gospel choir. A gospel choir? Yeah, a gospel choir. Yeah, a lot of talent on the stage today. Very good. Very good. Well, good luck to all three of you. Um, Thank you. We have a tie for the lead. Robert and Lisa both have $500, so we randomly selected who our challenger would be in the commercial break, and I believe, Robert, you won that toss, right? So you'll be the challenger. This round is more challenging. There are four possible answers. We pay $200 for each correct answer, and uh, as always, we start with one drop zone. There it is. All right, Robert, you started off. Everybody else ready? Let's play the game. And your first question. The Snap-on Company is a leading developer and manufacturer of what? Who do you want to challenge? My what? lovely friend Lisa. Your lovely friend Lisa. Does Snap-on make children's clothing, bras, tools, or Legos? I would have to say tools. Is it tools? Yes. Pick up $200. That's correct. Although the thought of the snap-on bra is a novel idea, isn't it? You're done. Easy. Uh, $700 is your score, and you are now the challenger to drop zones. Here's the next question. Chadwick Rowan, also known as Aki Bono, was the first American athlete to do what? I would like to challenge Melissa because I know she's an artsy type, and she probably sings a bit more than plays sports. Okay. Very good. Did Chadwick Rowan light an Olympic torch, score a World Cup goal, become a sumo wrestler, or win the Boston Marathon? Light an Olympic torch? Is it light an Olympic torch? No. He became a sumo wrestler. Akibono, big sumo panties, you know. You lose all of your money over to Lisa, and now you play Russian Roulette with two drop zones. Unlock Melissa's zone. Anything you'd like to say before you pull that handle? Hi, Mom and Dad. Help, please. Let's play Russian Roulette. 
Good luck. Okie doke, you're still here. And the challenger, we have three drop zones. Here's the next question. When adjusted for inflation, what movie has the greatest all-time box office take? Who would you like to challenge? I would like to challenge Lisa. She probably goes to the movies a lot. Okay. <laughs> Is the movie Gone with the Wind? E.T., Star Wars, or Sound of Music? I would say Sound of Music. Is it Sound of Music? Oh. No. Nope. Gone with the Wind no. is the correct answer, which you may be in a moment if you're unlucky. <laughs> uh, let's see. All of your money heads on over to Melissa. That was $1,050 you just lost. Now, you play Russian roulette with three drop zones. No. Unlock Lisa's zone. Could be your last moment here, Lisa. Make sure you fix your hair. <laughs> okay. Can I anything? say a few last words? Just say anything you'd like. There better be some nice looking boys down there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's play Russian Roulette. We save more money on parting gifts with this newfangled idea here. I love that. No rice roni or anything. We just get rid of them. Two players remain. We've got Robert on my right, $500. Melissa on my left, $1,050. They will battle it out to see who will play for $100,000 right after this. players remain Robert with $500, Melissa with $1,050, but this is the round that decides our winner. Uh, Melissa with the lead, that makes you the challenger, but be aware, both of you, that strategy is very important. As the challenger, with this first question at least, you can pass the question over to Robert and have him answer, but if you'd like, you can keep the question, but if you do so, you risk your $1,050, all right? Questions are worth $250 each. As always, we start with one drop zone. Are you both ready? Yeah. Okay, let's play the game. Good luck. Here's your first question. In what part of your body is the carpal tunnel? Melissa, would you like to answer it yourself or challenge Robert? I'm going to challenge Robert. Robert, is the carpal tunnel in your eye, ear, wrist, or ankle? Wrist. Is it wrist? Absolutely. 250. You're catching up. 750 for you now, Robert. And now you're the challenger with two drop zones. Next question. Until 1898, what current U.S. state was ruled by a queen? Who would you like? Would you like to challenge, or would you like to answer it yourself? Hmm. I would like to challenge. All right, Pretty Melissa. Girl. Yeah. Was the state Delaware, Vermont, Hawaii, or Alaska? Delaware. Was it Delaware? No. Delaware didn't have a queen. It was Hawaii that had a queen up till 1898. Your $1,050 heads over to Robert. Now you play Russian roulette with two drop zones. Unlock Melissa's zone. Let's play Russian Roulette. All right. Okay, you survived that, Melissa. That makes you the challenger. Let's throw a third drop zone in there. Here's the next question. What talk show diva made her big screen debut as a dancer in the movie Hairspray? I 
choose to keep it. The You're question, answer it I'm going to answer it myself. All right. Is the talk show diva Star Jones, Queen Latifah, Ricky Lake, or Oprah Winfrey? Ricky Lake. Is it Ricky Lake? That's right. Okay. So you have a little money. Robert has $1,800. We have four drop zones. You have the option because you're the challenger. Here's the next question. In the best-selling book, The Lovely Bones, the main character narrates the story from what unusual location? What would you like to do, I Melissa? Choose to challenge Robert. Robert, answer this right. You, you protect your 1800 and add to it. If not, you lose it. Play Russian roulette. Is the unusual location inner earth, heaven, mercury, or the morgue? Inner Earth. Is it Inner Earth? No, it is not. The answer was Heaven. The answer is Heaven. Ooh. And your $1,800 heads back over to Melissa. She now has $2,050. You now are faced with playing Russian Roulette. Actually, you're not going to get a chance. That sound means time is up. $2,050 is enough to be our champion. Robert, I'm sorry. It's over. Congratulations, Melissa. Thank You've you. made it to the end. Come on out. Champion. Thank you. 2050 is yours. You're welcome. You're so grateful. That money is yours to keep no matter what. It's in your pocket. We're not going to take it away from you. However, there are more riches possibly in store for you. We're going to take a break. When we come back, Melissa has a chance at $100,000. Let's see if she does it. Yeah. Stay with us. You've already won $2,050 to keep no matter what. Congratulations. You're welcome. If you answer all 10 questions correctly in 60 seconds, you will win $10,000. And then you'll have a chance at $100,000. Thank you. All right. A drop zone opens every 10 seconds. If you run out of time or you give an incorrect answer, you're going to drop. Yeah, I know. I, know. Okay. I just have to tell you. No, I know. Okay? Um, so you understand this? Yes. Let's unlock all six of the drop zones. The 60-second clock will start as soon as I finish reading the first question. All right? And uh, if you are stuck on a question, you can pass. And if time permits, we will come back to okay. that. Have you thought about what you do if you win 100000 Yes. Paying visa. <laughs> all money. <laughs> I understand. Wow, that's one credit line you got there, yeah. girl. Yes. All right. Well, let's see if we can get you that money. Are you focused and ready to go? Yes. All right. Let's put 60 seconds on the clock. Best of luck to you. Thank you. Here we go. Blondes, brunettes, or redheads? According to the title of the famous musical, what do gentlemen prefer? Blondes. Right. First class, business class, or coach. Which company is famous for its upscale leather handbags? Coach. Right. Heirloom, Air Jordan, or Air Apparent. Which term best describes Prince Charles? Air apparent. Right. Crosby, Stills, or Nash. Using artificial insemination, which man fathered Melissa Etheridge's two children? Crosby. Right. Walt Disney, Walt Whitman, or Walter Winchell. Who wrote Leaves of Grass? Walt Whitman. Right. Oyster, mussel, or clam, which is a type of soup cracker? Clam. No, it's an oyster cracker. I know. No. Sue Cracker is an oyster cracker. She missed that one, so we had to drop her out of here. But good news is, before Melissa dropped, she answered five correctly. That's $300 for each correct answer. That's $1,500, plus what she had coming in this round, a total of $3,550. Yeah. Hopefully she had a good time. I hope that you had a good time. I know that I had fun. You guys, you had a pretty good time, yeah? Were you there? Be sure to join us next time for the ultimate game of chance. Russian Roulette is the name of the show. My name is Mark Wahlberg saying until we see you again, watch your step. Oh, yeah.